Right on, man. Right on. Got two strings, man. New record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve, Earl, and the Dukes, I meant to say. The yeah. Dukes. Uh, they are the Dukes, and they are bad. Um, you know what? I wanted to mention something. Uh, your guitar player, Mike McAdam, and two of my band members live in the same house. So we always get the inside skinny on what's going on <laughs> in your world. We hear some stuff about you, too. Yeah, and I, I bet y'all do hear some stuff about us. Well, at uh, one time, there was two of my guys living in that house. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I remember... They had a barbecue over there right after they uh, moved into that house. You could see the neighbors out there. Well, there goes the neighborhood. Yeah, that was the like, deal. There, there went the people neighborhood. In the front yard. Um, for those of you who are watching in uh, Richmond, yeah. there's a used to be a band there called the Good Humor Band, and we about have a reunion Ow. here tonight because uh, there's probably four, I guess, of the of the guys between your band and my band. And the Good Humor Band was really good in Richmond. Well, man, you got a whole lot of good stuff happening. You got yeah. a, you got a song uh, on the soundtrack of a hit movie right now. We actually got two tracks in the movie. And really? Yeah, we got uh, Continental Trailways Blues, an old song of mine. And then we did, uh, this was fun to do. I've only done two covers, that, you know, the whole time I've been recording. And uh, uh, we did uh, the old Dave Dudley record, Six Days on the Road, which I was a little apprehensive about. That's a record I grew up listening to. but. But I think we got a real good version of it, and that's the next single that's out right now. And uh, uh, it's uh, off a of soundtrack of a movie called Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with, with uh, Steve Martin and John Candy. Yeah, yeah. big, yeah. big, just big, came big out. deal. I'm, I'm happy for you, man. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's gonna be a hit. I, you know, it's an awfully good record, and uh, it's a good song. That's always been a good song, and and uh, I, I probably did it in every band I was playing in Me when too. I was growing up in Texas, and Me it, too. it was kind of fun to do it. And we uh. We kind of duked it out a little bit, you know. It's yeah, a little you different. Put the Earl touch to it. Yeah, and saying uh, the Richard Bennett touch. That's one thing I do uh, would like to mention is we do have Richard Bennett with us tonight, who plays on all the records and hasn't been touring with us in a while. It's nice to be playing with Richard again. Well, I tell you, man, it's it. We can't. We couldn't operate without crack bands. No doubt we? about it. And uh, I think between the two of us, we got two of the best in town. I think so too. I'll, I'll go for that. I'll go for that. Um, tell me what you're doing in January. Lord, in January, I am going to, uh, I'm entering the jet lag Olympics. I'm going to, uh, I got to go to England because I'm producing a record on a, uh, a band called The Bible over uh, in England on Chrysalis Records. And I got three tracks I'm finished for their album. And uh, it's a, a rock and roll band. Nobody ever asked, asked me to produce any country bands. I'd like to I do wonder that. No one's ever asked. <laughs> but uh, we, uh, I'm going to go over and do that. And we're, we're going to Australia at the end of the month. So the boys are going one way around the world, and because I'll already be in England, I have to go through Hong Kong, so I'll go the other way around the world and meet them in Australia. Where it's summer. Yeah, in the middle of summer. So y'all be out are there, going on over there girl watching, I suppose. Yeah, you know, we're liable to get in some sort of trouble. It's the middle of summer, and it's going to be major culture shock, and uh, uh, they, they say it's a pretty rough trip over. That's oh, like, I bet it's... That's 16, 18 hours, and takes you a couple of days to recover. Yeah, but I bet y'all will do fine. Uh, in a few minutes, we're going to open up the phone line, so y'all folks at home call in, and the number is 1-800-451-7331, and you can talk to any of our guests here tonight. We're going to take a little break. Don't you dare go away now. Keep it tuned. 